Hey everybody, Cyrus the Crafty Bee Gamer back with another video, but I'm doing something a little bit different. See, I do love the Animal Crossing game. I didn't think I would. I was never really a fan in my youth, although I was aware of it and I thought it was kind of an interesting idea. But since March or April or May, somewhere around then, I got the game and I've been playing it ever since. And this was originally going to be a stream. However, hardware issues kind of prevented that from going off without a hitch so we're going to do a different version and I'm gonna bring it to you directly here on my channel um, that way it's edited down a little bit and that is for your better enjoyment uh, so today it's a special day we are doing a new kind of villager hunt um, I've seen people do one and the other but not both so today I have 30 Nook Miles tickets to try to find the best possible villager that I can for me um, so there will be a little bit of that going on. I do have some sort of standards um, and it also may just be up to a whim. I'm not looking for one sweetheart villager in particular, but there are a few that are at the top of my list and if I see them, I'm getting them right away and that's it. So even if it's the first person you run into, it's just going to be that kind of video. Um, I also have something else rather special. I also have not one but four different amiibo packs um, from series one, two, three, and four. So we're going to be doing both a virtual and a physical unboxing today, which I'm pretty excited about. So as you can see, I did have a villager just move out. This was Yuka's home. She was the sort of uh, blue koala uh, there's not really much to say about her she wasn't a super standout character but she was really nice she was kind of a sweet person um, she was a little bookish and I remembered getting her a couple of dresses and having some nice interactions um, so she definitely wasn't a problem but she was someone that I was ready to have move on from my island and uh, and you know have her own adventures in the meantime, I do also have, this is uh, Cranston's house. Cranston the um, Japanese crane. He is a lazy type and he isn't my favorite, so he's sort of a placeholder for now. We have Whitney Wolf, who is definitely one of my favorites. She's the first character to actually give me her portrait, which is strange because she's not my first character. This is Coco's house. Coco the uh, strange candy rabbit. A um, little creepy looking for some people, but I like her, and she is definitely the resident nerd of the, of the island. And I'll be doing more about each character, their personality, and maybe some of the behind-the-scenes drama that they've caused on the island. This is Stitch's home, the patchwork teddy bear. He's another lazy type. He is super popular. Uh, this is my wife's home, so we will let that be with all the goodies I left out in front of her house. And you can see I have not done my daily maintenance of picking up stones and sticks and things, and I'll do that after I get off here. This is Walt's house. This is the first house I started really fixing up, um, and that is the goal of the island over the next couple weeks is having everyone have like a super nice home that they can feel proud of. Another one that I worked on as well is Mr. Kyle and while he doesn't have much going on directly in front of his house he does have his own outdoor palladium um, so there can be sunrise and sunset concerts right here boop, 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 on craft aisle and as we enter into the town proper through the orchard, you can see that I originally started building a lot of these houses too close together. And so that's why I moved Stitches, who was here. This is my best buddy Kid Cat's house. There's Coco. She's doing a little bit of investigative gardening. Uh, this is Pashmina's house. Pashmina, a bit of a placeholder. Um, I needed to replace someone quickly and she just kind of fit the bill for now. And this is my boy Sid's house. Sid is definitely my pirate rock and roll dude. Um, and that's why his house is designed accordingly. But enough of that. Let's go ahead. Oh, hey, there's Pashmina. Hey, and what's up, dude? Cranston, what's going on, man? 
You want to do a thing? But what? Hmm. Let's find out. I was shopping and bought a sports cap. This guy is really kind of scatterbrained. Yeah, give me your sports cap. That's fine. That's fine. I understand. You know, we all we all do that. We we enjoy that retail therapy. And uh, next thing you know, you're just wishing you had those fifteen dollars back. And you know, I'm I'm doing okay financially right now. So we'll we'll just let it go. Um, and you know, I'll, I'll probably turn around and sell it somewhere else. All right, and so we're going to take off now to our first island, and while all that is coming together, I will tell you that uh, the way that I play it, I like to know more about the villagers, um, and it do if I see one that just looks good, that that's important to me. If I feel like their personality is going to fit in with the aesthetic, you know, if I do start up a second island that then I may start theming them a little bit better. But I actually have a notebook that lists each villager, their current popularity, their most recent popularity, their birth date, if they're lazy or grumpy or snooty or whatever that is. Um, and then I even associate a number with them which attaches to a color of wrapping paper so I never get their presents mixed up. I do all of this, and yes, even when I am hunting for a villager, I'm going to see how popular they are, because if I do decide to maybe trade them back out with someone else, maybe I can earn a profit. And while I normally don't care about stuff on islands, sometimes I will dig up things. Oh, this... Okay, I'm wasting time with fossils. I've heard about this guy. He's a legend, but is that a good thing? Sometimes, not so much. Straight away looking at him, the coloration is really interesting. You can see he has this bright cherry red, but then this deep metallic blue portion with these portholes on the side because Dell is actually a plane or a boat. Um, I don't think I even need to look up if this guy's popular. He does not interest me one bit. So thanks, Dell. I hope you do well. You know, uh, in, in your journal journeying and your journaling and your traveling. But uh, Wilbur, uh, I think you should get me out of here. This guy, I'm not feeling it. All right, we're on island number two. And let's see if we've got anything better. Oh, look at this big fluffy bear. Okay. All right, got a bit of a, a bit of a dopey look, but uh, got some nice bangs and a, a bit of a of a red splotch on the nose. Look at the uh, look at the paws. Kind of a pink, kind of a pink shade on those paws. I don't know about this tutu. Yeah, I'm not really feeling you, Tutu, but I'm curious. With the with the blue inner ear and those pink paws, are you a popular character? I don't recognize you. Um, tier five, number two, so less popular, but you know that you were probably me in high school. You weren't really all that popular, but in your clique, you, you did very well. Oh, n no, not if you're gonna be all fabbing and and. Uh, I've had enough of that, and oh, sometimes you guys, the uh, the translation into English from Japanese, uh, some of your snooty, some of your peppy bear, ooh, no, no thanks, Tutu, good luck to you, I'm gonna pass. Now I always do enjoy interacting with NPCs, um, I feel like they often have really great designs because they're meant to last you know your villagers some of them may be designed on a whim or they're just so you know niche designed like uh, meringue with the strawberry and, and all that it's a cute idea but they're not meant to be represented game in game out over and over again so like having uh, Orville and Wilbur here the Dodo brothers I, I enjoy talking to them. However, when I'm doing 30 different islands, possibly um, up to 30, whew, you know, that, that's a lot of checking in and checking out. So, you know, I, I do wish there was a way to just island hop. I think that is a huge quality of life improvement we need to see.
We're on island number three. Oh, okay. You look a little familiar. You're a little too made up to look like any of the uh, any of the deer that I'm aware of. But let's look at this design here. Of course, it's a little different because everyone's in their winter getup. So maybe if they have a really cool T-shirt, dress, hat, they may not be wearing it um, as they normally would. But who are we talking to here? Deirdre. Okay, I. Okay, I have heard of Deirdre. And let's just check, because I'm curious, how popular is she? She is a tier 4, number 10, Sisterly. Now, I do like Sisterlies. I have a long story about Paula the Bear that I will share in the future. Um, and she was a Sisterly, and, and she had one of the personalities that I liked the most out of all the villagers that I've spent time with. So, Sister Lee's do have a, a nice place in my heart. Yeah, but Deirdre, you're cute, but I don't think you'll work for me. All right, what are we on island number four now? I can't be losing count and be this short into it. So many different island types, I'm having to flippity floppity. Oh, who's that up there? Hmm. Not a big fan of the gorillas in general. Whoa! Is that a gibbon? Let me know in the comments. Is that a, a, a blue... Wow. You can tell how great attention I paid my teachers in science class. Boom. Baboon. But is he, like, is that a special type of baboon? Hey there, awesome to meet you. My name's Boone. What about you? Where are you from? Crafty, eh? You're from Craft now? Cool name. From a strong sounding place. Okay, so we know he's a jock. Baboon. You know what? He's okay. I mean, I actually like him with all of the, uh, the trappings. I like that that puffy ski jacket i like the uh the knit cap on top um very cool looking guy i just i just you know it's kind of like where's the best fit um you know and i already have a jock is it is his booty out am i see there's blue booty he's a blue buddy baboon i don't know what to say about that one i'm just just gonna run away i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna run away All right, island number five, and oh, it's a pear island. Um, I do remember finding my first pear island. It was like the third island I ever went to, and I was really excited because I really wanted to get all of the fruits. And I thought over time I would just keep hitting on different um, different fruit islands, but it, I saw eventually how rare it was. Whoa, hey, you snuck up on me. Hi there, who's this hippo? Got a little stripy tail, kind of a nice aqua blue. Well, hello there, says Bertha. Yeah, I came from Crafty Isle. Thanks for noticing. Huh, I don't know Bertha. Let's look her up. I don't think she's a good fit, but uh, Bertha's tier 5, 117. Normal. You know, I don't think I have any normals on my island and you know i can i could see a normal being on the island but uh you know when it comes to just kind of a standard blue yeah no no thanks i think i think we'll just head home out I, I need to think about it i processed it and i'm okay you know, if I was to introduce anything new to the game when it comes to traveling from island to island, maybe having something different happen when you reach the island. So maybe there's a 1 in 50 chance that there is an issue uh, and you have to land somewhere else. Not just one of these normal islands, but, you know, maybe someone else's island. Or maybe the plane has to crash and you have to spend time on this island helping get resources so that Wilbur can get it back up in the air. I don't know, I, I think some things like that might be fun. Whoa, look at RoboDuck here. I don't think I've ever seen this guy before. It's, it's interesting. 
you know, that would be kind of cool to do a robot island because I know there's um, the robot frog and then we saw the um, that ocean liner alligator before. That might kind of fit. What is this guy? Sprocket. Survival training. Oh, you're probably a jock too, but that's okay. Oh man, I think this guy's really cool looking. I don't think he fits. And and even Coco is a little outside of kind of you know, I don't want uh, Coco and really Stitches, but Stitches is so cute. I mean, he kind of fits in anywhere. You have to forgive him. But uh yeah, having like strange looking um non-animal forms is kind of strange. But uh Sprocket's another tier 5. So um, not very popular, but um, ranked number 13 as a jock. I, I think it's pretty cool looking. Pretty cool. I will also say that some of the items I see in the background of some of these places I want, like that tablet and pen, and that name placard, that calendar, even that setup of computer, just looking around, these are items that I want to purchase or or be able to craft um, I do like how you can use the customization tools to make things look a little different a little more interesting um, to play with the color but it doesn't give you more items it just helps you customize them a little bit so uh, another real big um, quality of life thing I'd like to see is just maybe another 100 200 item dump and yeah that eventually just kind of gets ridiculous like you could add everything to the game but uh why not if, if we've got another two years out of this game let's do it okay so and i'm also sparing you guys it is really oh that's an interesting looking character but i'm sparing you i want to uh, I want to check out every island and look for bottles like that one. I'm going to grab that bottle. But also to bang every tree and take all of the wood. It's really difficult for me not to do that. But for the sake of this video, I will I will spare you. Look at this guy. This dude's pretty cool. I like this sort of shaggy sheepdog look. And the gray on gray doesn't hurt. Shep. I've heard of Shep before. I'm Shep. I'm a dog about town or in cave about islands. Shep has got to be smug, right? Wouldn't you think so? A smug, a smug dog. Tier three, number twenty-eight. He is a smug dog. Oh man, I would like to do an island that is all dogs and wolves, and that guy would fit perfectly because I already know like I've got um, Kyle who's smug and he he's a bit full of himself but he is also a generous person and I think he uh, he means well so I, I do like smug types I didn't think I would because um, sometimes snooty and peppy can get a little grating but uh, smugs are okay, so if, if you're doing a villager hunt and you see him, if you see this uh, shaggy um, Shep, give him a good home. Every, every dog deserves a good home. And I was just about to say I am excited to be on island number eight, and I forgot to get that bottle that I just said I was going to get. Ugh. It's going to haunt me, whatever that DIY was. I'm sure it was the the very thing that I need. Look at this tubby clucker here. All right, okay, got a bit of a Angry Birds face going on, but uh, kind of cool. Kind of a white chicken overall motif. This is Goose. I've heard of Goose. I've never seen Goose before. Okay, wilderness training is at his. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, he's definitely a jock. And you've got to be like a super top tier jock to get back on my island. Because Kit Kat, I don't care if he's the lowest of low. That's my dude. I'm going to support him all the way. But Goose, you know, you're on the popularity on the rise. And good for you. Good for you. But uh, you can just uh, come visit sometime. 
come by the campsite sometime. I'll show you around, but uh, I don't I don't know if there's space for you on Craft Isle. So let's take a break from the virtual while we look at one of these packs. Now I've seen people online and the way they open them. I'm not so worried about that reveal. It's just gonna kind of be whatever it is. Um, I guess I could have opened these up to get to the, the fun blister pack a little bit sooner. And yeah, I'm not worried about flipping one. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try it because the way they do it is they always take the front one and put it to the back because that's probably the NPC. And we've got Eugene. Okay, kind of a funky dude. And I like that it shows their different names, I believe, in the different countries. Uh, Alright. Tutu. Hey, there's Tutu. Interesting. I love having these as backups for characters that, um, that we didn't keep. Because what if I decide to go and build one of those kinds of islands? It, it's neat to know that I have them as that resource. Sterling. Whoa. Okay. If I found this guy on the hunt, I might have kept him. So... This is cool. We've got Sterling. Renee. I've seen Renee before. Not not my favorite. You know, that, that kind of uh, Donald Duck sailor knot is always funny to me. Harriet. Okay, yeah, so I need to take the back one and put it to the front. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'll figure it out again, but I don't really care. Harriet. All right. And then Cole. A a pitch coal black bunny don't know much about coal I'll have to look that guy or gal I'm guessing guy coal is a is a more masculine name Epicure and Nicholas interesting so uh, as far as a pack goes would I say this is very valuable having sterling Eugene looks cool but again I wasn't a very big player of this game in my youth so i'm not really sure who harriet is because i believe her function has been removed for this game with hairstylings and things um, but a lot of other people online have said we want characters like harriet and uh brewster to come back so Maybe if she does come back in a future update, maybe she gets her own store and we get more decoration, um, customization things like we did back in uh, October. That that could be kind of cool. Back on the hunt. Let's see. I, I kind of wish that maybe just for some um, variety that when you do go to these islands, that maybe some of them would be above or below the equator. So you might get different um, seasoned islands that would be kind of cool so maybe you could land on a spring island and that would also allow you to maybe harvest a couple of resources that are in the season that you're not in any longer just because I missed the one before I'm snagging that one I'm not gonna leave it behind I'm not going to forget not again and I would like to see maybe remnants of other buildings on these islands, but that's a Minecraft thing in my head that I'd like to see. Oh, hey! Look at this angry little weasel. What are you? Hamphrey? I've heard of you, but I don't. I've never met you before. Hamphrey. You know, I must become some kind of celebrity because they all kind of know who I am. Hamphrey is definitely one of them. He's got that rich, dark fur, little hamster body and like blue accents but uh not really much more than that all right there we go took me a moment but hamphrey tier 5 118 definitely a cranky and you know what i also have a deep love for crankies because i didn't think i would and then walt and sid created this really great dynamic with all of the other characters on my island and i'll tell you more about that in a future video but uh it's that that lovable curmudgeon you know sometimes they they may seem a little off-putting or be a little you know uh, uh, prickly but once you get to know them and really once they get to trust you 
um, it definitely develops into a much richer friendship. I'm gonna catch some bees and chop some trees and walk around with the greatest of these. See a pink pandies and wonder, oh please, what the heck is this? Bubble gum. And at first I thought it was black, but it's like a dark, dark blue slash purple coloring this is a wackadoo chow i don't know why i feel like that name is inappropriate but yeah chow i don't mm. every villager is someone's favorite and i appreciate that and i've you know gone on record official statements that have been verified sealed and placed in the courthouse that I do think that there are some really underrated designs on these villagers, but there are also some overrated designs on villagers, and then you wonder when you look at Chow, did they just have nothing left in the bucket? It's it's just a bear, it just has a face, it just is what it is. And so if Chow is one of your favorites, if you've played previous games and maybe there's a deep rich lore that comes with chow then awesome but uh, i'm not feeling that look at all there's something really fun about doing this and also very nerve-wracking because it is kind of like you're betting you're you're risking you know i i could have walked away and been reasonably happy with one or two of the villagers I've seen so far, but continuing forward thinking, expecting that this one more Nook Mile ticket is gonna get me a one more island, which is gonna get me like one of the top tier villagers, and it's just not true. So it's it's weird that it it feels good in some ways and you feel relieved, but also I might do all 30 and find jack diddly garbage and it you just don't know which one it's going to be and that's that's the thing so once you find one that you like it's like well you better hedge your bets and keep them because that's really all that there's going to be is this goldie pico pico picoey i don't know you hey turn around turn around I could barely even tell what kind of animal you are. There you go. So you're just like a little peak. Oh, it's a Pekingese, right? Or is it an Aikido? Forgive me if I'm getting dog breeds wrong, but okay, you're kind of cute. If I was building uh, an island of just super cuties, tier three, level 10 currently, that's just this current popularity list. Uh, if you go to animalcrossingportal.com, again, animalcrossingportal.com, they're not um, a sponsor by any stretch. Um, they do bi-monthly, uh, twice a month um, votes. And people vote which ones are their most popular, their favorites. And they rank them and then they change over time. So, for example, Pico was 9 last month and is number 10 on the third tier. Super cute, a normal, and it's a bear cub. Okay, it's not a puppy, it's a bear. I don't know how I would be able to tell the difference, but that's what they are. Um, I like them okay. Maybe not the right fit for me, but um, definitely recommend for anyone looking for a bunch of cuties on their island. Pico is a good way to go. I also think it's kind of strange the way the campsite works, which I love the idea of the campsite, and I love the idea that you have villagers that come by and, and hang out with you, and that you can speak to them and convince them to stay with you if you're persistent enough and then that way you can still get new blood into your island without having to spend Nook Miles tickets. But at the same time that they're isolated to the campsite is, is a little frustrating. I wish you could walk them around, maybe receive certain tasks from them and, and just have a more fun interaction with them. So we're hiking up here. I didn't see any... Oh! <sighs> Oh, this is going to be so tough for me because I don't like the, the octopuses at all. Marina. I know people love Marina. What do I do? What do I do? Oh, no. Marina is super cute. 
Marine that's super popular. If I was in the Nookazon sales habit, which I'm not, I've bought a couple of things. I haven't sold anything yet. But, uh, you know, if you're, if you're looking to make money, yeah, sure, but that's, that's not how I play. Marina, tier one, number six. She's the sixth most popular villager, you guys. What do I do? I wish I was streaming right now because you guys could help me vote and help me decide what we do, but I'll regret it if I don't take her, right? I'll regret it if I don't. So I was going to go for 30 tickets, but maybe I save the tickets. And then when Pashmina or Cranston leave, um, then then we go on another hunt. But uh, yeah, let's let's do it. Marina, What what is she? Is she a... Uh... Oh, she's a normal, and I like normals. Move to my island. We're bringing Marina home. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. All right. That was that was actually really tough for me because she's not the kind that I like. You know, I would really Marshall's my guy. Marshall's the one that I want. Um, but I'll take a Marina. Let's go home, and we still have three other amiibo packs to open together. So let's go ahead and jump to that. I don't really know the difference between these. Just which villagers are available but we'll do them in order either way so so satisfied i'm gonna start things off with <gasps> agent s i actually already have agent s um i was looking to collect all of the power ranger Forgive me if you know what they're actually called. Not the Super Sentai, but just kind of whatever their uh, their motif is. Kind of the sports car racer athlete Power Ranger um, design. So I actually went out and bought Agent S, Big Top, and Rocket so that I would have all four. Um, if there's a fifth one, I uh, guess I just don't know who they are yet, but I was able to get these. And then I did also, just because it's funny, I wanted Barreled, like the most unpopular, really, uh, that is just not a beautiful look, but that's Barreled. And I only have him in protectors because I happen to have protectors laying around. But it's cool, got a, got a duplicate with Agent S, the squirrel. Charlize, okay. Yeah, they just get so rich with the colors that sometimes I, I don't... If she's your favorite, good for you. I'm, I'm not a fan. Wendy. Okay, I've seen Wendy before. Overall, I do not like the sheep. Um, there's a There was a big problem with a sheep on my island once. That's for a future video. So it kind of clouds my love for any of them. But Wendy's pretty cute with the... Uh, I hope that's just a scarf of watermelon and that she's not just tucking half a watermelon under her chin caesar okay or thesar caesar with a giant a shirt lucha i like lucha a lot that's a that's a great um that's a great luchador mask followed by porter porter the monkey don't know don't actually know who porter is but it's kind of sad that in an advanced game with better graphics and all that stuff we kind of lose out on some of our villagers but um yeah it's interesting that they make these games so they they there is a, a a card playability because you have paper rock scissors and you also have dice in the corner and that just shows you a, another way to play with these cards which functionality is a big thing with me Moving on to Series 3, starting with Sparrow. I like Sparrow. For a moment, it looked like it had the uh, the same um, glitter texture to it. Sparrow, uh, cute little Sparrow. Hamlet. I've seen Hamlet before. Very cute. Wait, would this help? Oh, no. That light is in the way. Then we have Stinky. So, uh, yeah, you probably think, oh, that's another luchador mask. 
but that is clearly a bicolored pair of underwear with holes cut out, and that is a... I'm just gonna move on, how about that? Tangy, tangy, I don't know tangy. Okay, so clearly tangy's a big fruit, an orange or tangerine or something like that. There is probably one of every animal or a lot of them that are just animal or uh, food based, which I get it, it's cute, just not my thing. Although I do like Coco. Cody, Cody's cool. That's a cool bear. I like Cody, that kind of the blue. And I do like when they have like a spotted eye or something like that. Uh, but this one's another that's kind of like minimal design, makes him very cute. And I got Tom, I got big Tom Nook. That's interesting. And it's good to have Tom Nook as a card so that I can bring them over to do photographs at, um, what's his name's place. So I'm not blown away. We haven't got any super crazy rares, but to be honest, I don't know what all the super crazy rares would be, but we're going to just look and see what we do have. <laughs> this dude is haunting me. You're haunting me, Beryl. You're haunting me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to burn one of these cards, if not both of them, in some sort of ritual to, to push him away back into the dark. Tank. All right. Now, I think that's the same shirt that Kit Kat wears. There's a bit of overlap in some of these outfits that I'm not sure about. But, uh, yeah, Tank's okay. Just a big old rhinoceros. Nothing special, but nothing, nothing weird. Peewee. Okay, Peewee's funny, and it and it's funny that they have all of the pool ball shirts, one through nine, um, and no real reason for it. It's just a design thing, but occasionally some of these villagers will wear them. Uh, and Peewee's just a big old angry, arms crossed gorilla. But for out of all of the gorilla, monkey, chimp subtypes, this one I'm, I'm not really mad at. I think he's kind of cool looking. Queenie. Wow, super fierce. She's got a, a great kind of, uh, her bangs are super cute. I like the shirt that she comes with. It's not a tie-dye, but it's got some splotchy colors on it. I like that muted kind of gray into purple look. So I actually do like Queenie a lot. And then we have Lolly, super cute Lolly. I've seen Lolly around before. This one I think is a good catch. Looks like a kitten that you'd love to have curl up in your lap and pet all day with the light gray um, fur and the dark gray stripes and wearing a little plaid. Or is that gingham? I don't know the difference, but super cute little shirt. And who's our... <gasps> we have Celeste. Okay, so as far as NPCs go, she's one of my favorites because when I see her, that means it's going to be a meteor shower that night. They're going to be shooting stars. But overall, got to say... You know, worth the money? These are never really worth the money unless you get that one special one that you're looking for. So Celeste, Lolly, Queenie are probably the big takeaways for that one. I, I would say I, I like those. Tom Nook, Cody, maybe Sparrow. I think Sparrow's kind of cool looking. Would be from the Series 3 pack that I've found. Back to Series 2. So Lucha and Porter. And then lastly, having Harriet's cool, Cole is cool, Eugene and Sterling. Okay, so in the end, I didn't find anything that's like super crazy amazing, but I did find some that I like a lot um, and that I could consider using. And actually, uh, you see it? I see it. You cannot let a balloon go unpopped, for goodness sake. So until next time, thank you guys so much for checking in with me. Uh, this is something sort of new. I'm going to get more into painting streams again over on Twitch. Um, and if that's a thing that people want to see here on YouTube with minimal um, editing, I would be more than happy to give that a try. Who knows? There's always more Minecraft stuff. There's always more Crafty Bee stuff. My efforts have really been put over on the Oddities Observed channel. And if you haven't checked that out, I'd really appreciate it if you did. That's Oddities Observed and it spells like the words oddities and observed uh, that's my other project but uh, if you like what I do please consider subscribing and following and hitting the bell icon it 
not only does it mean a lot to me, but it actually helps show me what is working and what you guys like and what you want to see more of versus what you may click on for a minute and turn off. So until next time, I'm Cyrus, aka Crafty Bee Gamer. Keep building, crafting, creating, just hang in there. It can get better.